Well, that's a good question, and uh, that's one that I do get asked a lot. Um, why a bookshop? Because uh, a lot of my friends said to me, you're mad, you know, what are you buying a bookshop for? You know, uh, you've got the internet, you've got Kindles, you've got Amazon and all the other people. That I was looking originally for a gift shop or a, or a coffee shop type concept, but um, this came along, I like the area, this quirky old building, it's got a lot of history and character. This is like Winston Churchill's old uh, old area. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a nice bit of greenery here, start of Epping yeah. Forest. And um, it was just the sort of the feel of the place, really. Um, mm. It's been going for over 30 years. Yeah. So it's a, it's, a, you know, it's a fairly viable business. I mean, I'm a people person, so you've got to be a people person to work in the retail trade. Yeah. You know, I couldn't imagine working in a normal, normal yeah. store, you know, or anything, but you know, you've got to be prepared to be nice to people. You've got to be able to deal with people that are a bit rude to you, you know, and you've got to be able to handle complaints and queries and have a lot of patience. I had some savings that I built up, so that all went into the business. Yeah. I uh, borrowed some money from my mortgage, that went into the business, and uh, I've had to take out a couple of small loans as well, paying, you know, only paying about 3% interest. Yeah. So I've just stretched the mortgage as far as it could go. So if things do go pear-shaped, you know, say, if, you know, worst comes to worst in a year or two, I've still got, uh, I could still take out, you know, I could still meet my payments by just, you know, doing a, an ordinary job somewhere, you know. There was, uh, yeah, there was a few issues, actually. Um, it was, um, it took us about three, three, four months, I think, mm. from September to January, about four months to conclude the transaction from my first offer to uh, to the survey and, and all the paperwork and everything. The main issue was really things like, um, you know, firstly, we, you know, we agreed the price, you know, um, so that was one obstacle. And then that was out of the way fairly smoothly. But the, 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 uh, the main part of the delay was the paperwork between the three sets of solicitors. So you've got the landlord solicitors, the purchaser and the buyer solicitors. Um, it's better to get things right or better to, better to get the deal that um, that you want rather than rushing into something and you might regret yeah, it later. Yeah. You know? First few months it was really intense you know learning everything and um, the previous owner helped me the first few weeks and um, you know she was firing off millions of bits of information expecting me to remember it all and so it was quite intense first few months was really intense and um, it was hard getting to know all the different suppliers different you know, got over 5,000 titles mm. here, you know, different books, mm. different different customers, you know, yeah. some customers expect you to remember what they they want kind mm. of thing, you know. Um, so it, it's a lot to learn. Right. You have to sometimes just <laughs> say, right, if I don't do it now, yeah. I mean, I took a big chance, you know, financially, you know, I've borrowed a lot of money, I've got mortgage to pay, loans to pay and stuff, so it's a challenge, you know, I've got a couple of kids as well, so yeah. it is a challenge, but Sometimes in life you just got to take these chances, you know, you've got to say, right, if I don't do it now, I'll just be, I'll be a, a kind of like a, I don't mean this in a na nasty way, but like a wage slave, you know, you're a slave to your wage, yeah. you know. My health, I feel, is, uh, <laughs> I feel a lot healthier now. Yeah.